Now what's unique, folks, is we basically, this is Bino, and basically we are getting the Draconoid, which is basically supposed to be over with now, pretty much. Plus, we're also getting this stuff and other stuff that they don't really have an answer for, because we're getting a bunch of stuff, and I'll go to Asgard and show you. And basically, we also have the actual factual here that we will zoom in on here. And we've got 200, and then we will go ahead and show you what they've seen in San Francisco, which is nothing new, because we see that on Asgard, but basically, more than likely, it may have came in and skimmed our atmosphere and took off, but the idea that more than likely should give us, they should, it should have more than likely hit landfall. This guy caught it on that picture there. The head of it's kind of caught behind the tree, but uh, he caught that. We've got witnesses that seen. So they got this video that they. Hello, Oakland. Bay Area, my old home. Well, actually, ain't my old home either. I can live there anytime I want. But anyway, it's, it's not the Oranoid. I mean, yeah, it's not. Probably hit Martinez Hills, I think. Santa Cruz, somebody caught this. 25,000 miles an hour, they figured it hit around 8 o'clock last night. So, you should get this the day after, too, so this is going to be... near Tan Campbell so everybody in NorCal saw it looks like pretty much so basically it's not the Orion Orionid so the Orion Orionid it's hard to say Orionid meteor shower That'll be coming this weekend. So, and let's see what they got on that real fast. We're looking to send this to if we go on that quick. And I'm just go to NASA, and NASA's got this one. So, NASA can tell you that that site there, and then you got that link there. So, anyhow, we pretty much know, and we'll go ahead and go to. Uh, So you can go check that out and play that video there. I'm going to go ahead and go to Asgard. And there's plenty of objects again tonight. And I've showed you some of the stuff in the past too. So I think I counted like about nine already tonight. And uh, there's going to be plenty of other stuff. And like I said, I knew that we had stuff earlier this week too. Or basically back on the on when we started getting the... Uh, Draconis early, we got that on the 6th, and then we got all this stuff still around, and there was one that was 0.0 IU, so the idea that more than likely, with the zero distance, it more than likely came into our atmosphere also, and also you have the facts that they already had that one hit Martinez Hills over there, Northern Cal, so a lot of stuff again, so... Go out and check the sky out. One o'clock too. They had that happen. It's almost eight o'clock p.m. out west coast. So, but uh, one o'clock to three o'clock in the morning is a pretty good time usually to to catch it. So, this looks like to be the biggest, brightest one. So there you go.
And that's what they end up looking. That's how fast they go. And then they, so this one shows the most of the object and so forth. And you don't know how close or how far away, but that's what that video ended up looking. And that's how fast they are. So they slow down when they hit. And you can get pictures like that, that they got in Northern Cal there, but when they're that far out and so forth and so on, that's more than two distances of the sun there. Two IU, two point something IU. So we'll pop into something again on the Norbert here real fast and see if we got any short distance. Now that was out there too. So cruise up. There has been some stuff that's been uh, just a very small IU distance out too. So I don't know if we're going to get lucky enough on an orbital here that any of this stuff is close, but the other nights there was stuff that was, yeah below is like 0 0.14 0 0.12 and like i said we had something that was on the somewhere between the six and the and now there was one that was 0, 0.0 and also that one in, in northern cal because it hit so here's reports the brandy california calls in on the 18th shows this so and 712 AM 702 Pacific Daylight 557 someone's seen something We saw it in Denver Canada So there's a lot of activity in the sky folks Ohio so, here are the other reports on the 17th. So, there's been getting, there's been, looks like there's been a lot of them. That's how you go, you go in and report in and you, you go to this site and do that. It's the big media blog site. Okay. So, uh, a lot of activity. Berkeley on the 17th. So, So a lot of people have seen it. We're hearing big bang booms and everything. So there's all the sightings. And then basically you're overseas too, because I can scan over your you know be it should be at least the it is. Reports overseas, but maybe not right now. I guess maybe recently there's not much of anybody being seen anything overseas. But North America, we're getting them. So, you must have refreshed it. So, most of the time you'll end up seeing some over in England and stuff like that too. But they're not seeing them, I guess. Most all the reports are over in the States and then up in Alaska. A little bit up in Canada. Like we showed. So, that's pretty much it. Maybe that. I think I can just zoom out like this and catch everything. And that's the latest and greatest on meteor shower action, asteroids, comets. All right. And I don't have time to go to the telescope, but basically this is pictures I snapped off of. Uh, and I'm going to zoom in on the object basically by the sun. And I'll try to see if I can go ahead and go to... And there you go. I don't know how much more. I'm going to zoom in some more, but that's the object that's up by the sun. And I got it off of, uh, I got this straight off of uh, the, the uh, Canadian French telescope picture. Let me see if I can go to it real fast and play it for you. Here's all some, some pictures of Uranus. So, these are fresh. And here at the Y cut in the magnetosphere, you can see that the Earth has gone pretty crazy again pretty wild when we're getting uh, red on the back lines so red is not good so pretty wild action right now probably end up with some pretty good flakes so I'll throw them up the flake thing so this is some pretty important telemetry we caught here on this data here so very 
not the first time, March 3rd, 3rd or 13th it happened to, so, for this year, so we're going through something again, so getting kind of crazy. That's a lot of red. And you know, I got a lot of US quakes and a lot of quakes everywhere, and fresh fires went out of there. Let's see if we get any more pressure there. And basically, See if the daylight hits and they hit the quakes. So, so. a lot of crazy action on the magnetopod. Real live action. You can see here we're getting this like three layers over here in the eye on the corner. Crazy. Let's see if I can go to Sorrel Artists. They had some really good action of it. Kind of really goofy looking. I mean, they never looked like that before. I've never seen it look like that before. Solar wind speed staying at high at 500. Actually, I've seen like 509 a while ago. So, temperature's way up too. A little higher, really, too. So, and we've got a dramatic change in the polar angle, too. It was at zero a little while ago, folks. So, just let me know. You can go back and check the telemetry, and I'm just telling you here, and we've got a big swing. So, we're really doing some wild stuff. And there's the sun's latest, wild and hot and furious and you know, moral. It's moving around a lot. Our accident, actually, the accident is over here too, a little while ago. So, we've got a lot of the wild movement in the last five, six hours. There's some more of that magnetosphere it's just going crazy. I've never seen this crazy two or three heads. So, we're basically doing some kind of a big 360 spin or something like that. It's pretty weird. Pretty wild. I mean, not 360 spin, but the idea that we're doing a real wobbling in a short amount of time. Wobble, spiral, on a rotation. And that's our, I mean, that's our plasma out there in space. The solar wind getting this and stuff. So, pretty wild action. There's your pressure points for the problem quakes. So, the sun's really ripping our ass. He's hot, doing some wild stuff. This one makes you realize real big time. The SDO. It's like, what's the sun doing? Man? It's ripping her ass apart. So, and we're doing some wild spins with it. So, the Earth is reacting to it. A bunch of solar action. And we'll see. We're going we're gonna to get an end or something here pretty damn soon, too. Because, uh, you can see that being really important. So it's going to be picking up again because you can see it there. That's the for precursor. precursor. And it's very rare to see that warning there. So it's probably going to get ready to spike because we've got two C's in there real fast. So all right, solar wind is going to create all these winds down here on Earth. You know, this temperature is going to be some really early winter weather here. This shows a wild action on our corner, and we'll just go check that out. Yeah, we got a wild angle that's been shifting because the idea that this looked a lot worse earlier. This looks good now. It looked real scary earlier. And this really shows the action. So that's how much of wild we've been wiggling around in the north and the south. It's been pretty crazy. We got wild, more wild stuff to come because this is this is very very Oof. too much red.
Nice to hear. 